Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for May. So at any time in May, I've already done one May reading, and I will tag it to the end if you're interested in watching that. Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could happen at any time, and this reading may or may not be for you. So what do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Increase in money. Aquarius and 911. So, 911, we know what 911 is. 911 is emergency. I feel like you uh, need to be fluid, you need to be grounded, but you also need to be fluid. You may be feeling very emotional at this time, you may be feeling a lot of other people's emotions. I feel like there's some sort of emergency in the future. Now, this could be an emergent change of some sort. Don't be scared, okay, because uh, everything happens for a reason. Um, something to do with humanity here because of that Aquarius card. I feel like there's there's something that is happening that is that has to do with humanity. It, there's some sort of emergent change that is coming that is going to affect your life. I feel like... Uh, you know, when I see this Aquarius card, I think of Uranus, okay? And Uranus is the is the planet of destruction. So I wonder if uh, there is obviously a change here. And, and maybe the change is, is emergency. It's emergent. It's emergent. It's necessary. It needs to happen right now. Because I, when, and if you think about Uranus, is ruled by the Tower card. So I feel like, or or uh, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, which is the Tower card. But anyhow, I do feel as though you are about to experience a sudden change. Okay, this is uh, probably going to put you in your emotions. You're going to be looking at things from a new perspective. I do see an increase in money. Maybe it's coming from somebody in your past. You know, it could be. I don't know if it's inheritance or a family member or a job or something like that. I feel like it's coming. The money is coming um, if you've been waiting for it. So 911 is is an emergency. So and it doesn't have to be and maybe this is just an emergent change that is needed right now. Um I do feel like you're going to be feeling in your feelings because of that Aquarius, which, you know, uh, feels very deeply, feels the feel feelings. You hold on to other people's feelings. I feel like you, you're holding on to something and you and you pr maybe you need to release it. You need to let it go. To see in your past there is and, and it's interesting because this is my second reading that I did for you I just started one I didn't get very far and I decided I messed up so I decided to do it over and I mentioned Gemini Gemini had this as well I feel like you're dealing with somebody that has deceived you um, this is somebody from your past it could be a family member it could be over money uh, you see this person has money in their hands. You, you're dealing with somebody that is very materialistic and greed. And that's probably, oh, that was in the other one, the other reading. We had lust come out, but it was in reversed. So this in this deck, we had lust come out. This is only lust, but it was in reverse. And I said, well, I think this is like... Uh, materialism I didn't think it was a sexual kind of thing I felt like it was a materialistic lust I feel like you are dealing with somebody that is extremely greedy extremely selfish money hungry I don't know if this is a thief uh -huh. get prepared for something to happen that uh, exposes this person or there could be and we had boxing gloves first card out there could be you could be you could be fighting with somebody in the future over money okay um i'm not sure if it is a gemini could also be a capricorn i don't know why or an aquarius 
Um, and I do feel like it's a family member. It's a family situation. We have happy family in reverse on the bottom here. I feel like you're in a situation where it's not a happy family. I feel like there's a lot of deception. Somebody is doing something just for money. And I think it's a very selfish behavior. Um, there is going to be some sort of emergency disruption with the whole situation in the very near future. You're going to need to have faith. Everything happens for a reason. Aquarius also rules the star card. Okay, the star card is uh, faith. It is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So I feel like... Uh, there's probably going to be a tower moment if there hasn't already, and I'm not trying to scare anybody. I think, but the tower moment could be with the person that you are dealing with. It doesn't have to be with you. We do have a very deceptive person here that is about to get a wake up call. The second card out was spiritual awakening. It was reversed in this deck. In this deck, I have them all upright, so I'm not sure how it came out reversed. Anyhow, um, but it did. So what I'm thinking is you're dealing with somebody that is not very spiritually awakened. This person is very materialistic and selfish and I feel and I mean this could be you I mean if you're a cross watcher it could be the Libra that you're dealing with there is somebody here that is uh, money hungry all they want is money and I feel like there's going to be an emergent situation that arises um, and whoever this person is that is greedy and materialistic and money hungry is about to get a wake-up call entrepreneur can't hold on to these for nothing. Entrepreneur, self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. Now this is going over here. Maybe this change involves your job. You know, maybe you have to uh, go your own way. Maybe it's time to go your own way, to do your own thing. But you, this this reading could be you. This reading could be this is this is definitely a time of change for you. For maybe you need to stop holding on to something just for the money and follow your own path. It's time for a change, okay? It is time. It's time for you to start with a clean slate and build your own foundation. So I feel like the message is, is that you, this is definitely an emergency. I feel like you're in a situation that eh, things are about to explode, put it that way. I feel like things are about to explode. I feel like that you need to take ownership. You need to start creating. You have the capabilities, now, if you think about 911, 9 is about closure, 1 is about your thoughts become things, and manifestation, okay? So it's time to close a chapter in your life, go after what you're thinking about. You have manifested some sort of closure in your life, okay? It is really, really time for you to close a chapter in your life, okay? I feel like you have the capability to start some new business, perhaps your own business. But if you're holding on just to a, per, a current position, just for the money, it's not going to bring you happiness. That's that tower, okay? That's that false sense of security. It's that false foundation that's dark, okay? It's time for you to be at peace. It's time for you to be in a place where you know, you can be yourself, where you can be fluid, where you can do what you want. So anyway, I feel like this is an emergency. I do feel like it's time for a change. And I, I honestly feel like the universe is going to bring a tower moment into your life. And then you're going to be, uh, there's going to be some unexpected help that is arriving. I feel like uh, you're going to need to get creative and create this new endeavor that you are about to embark on. I do believe that's what's happening. Ace of Swords Reverse. That's dishonesty. Um, refusing to take a new approach. Five of Wands Reversed. 
Seven of Swords. I feel like we have some self-deception here, honestly. And I, I don't. I, I, I'm not here to make friends. It's just the way it is. Uh, I feel like we have somebody here that is in a very tense situation where there's a lot of drama with that Five of Wands. I think it could, it's either a family situation or a work situation. And I think there's a lot of deception. And I also feel like there's self-deception. I feel like uh, you're cheating yourself. You're cheating yourself of a better life. You really are. Anyhow, um, Libra, I feel like you need to take action. You need to remove yourself from some sort of drama. You need to stop competing with whoever it is that you're competing with in this situation, whether it's a family member or or a um, competitor at your job. I think that you have skills to do your own thing. It's time to close that chapter in your life. And I feel like it's time to rebalance. It's time to balance your scales. It's time for you to have, have peace and harmony in your life. If you think about the 11, 11 is the justice card, right? So that's you uh, making a decision. You have to decide, you know, what is what is it that is going to bring you peace and harmony and happiness? I don't think where you're at, you're, you're there. And I think that you will see an increase in money when you stop giving somebody that is uh, messing with you your energy. I feel like you need to take your power away. I feel like you need to stop communicating with somebody. I also feel like this could be a relationship. Somebody, Some of you could be dealing with somebody who is in a relationship there's some sort of competition here you need to go no contact you need to not communicate there's cheating there's deception there's lies there's there's lies here you're dealing with somebody that is uh playing with you they are really really playing with you that five of wands five of wands is a competition it's a game you need to stop playing don't communicate shut down communication Okay, you are definitely dealing with a deceptive individual who is lying to you, and it feels like you you need to take your power back. Oh, five of wands, ace of pentacles reversed. Ace of Pentacles reverse is an unplanned loss. It is a loss of money, a loss of something you had. It's losing something that isn't that was holding you down anyway and letting it go. You the Ten of Wands is a burden. You've been holding on to something that you need to let go of. You really have been. Okay? And it feels like you've been holding on to these emotions. You've been holding on to these feelings. You know, wearing the feelings. And I feel like it's it's really, really, really time for you to stop playing. I feel like you're engaged with some people. This could be friends. You're engaged or that really aren't your friends. This is, this is like an enemy disguised as a friend. I feel like somebody is, is really deceiving you. I think that you see it, but you're ignoring it. You know, you're ignoring it. You're hoping for the best. You're hoping they're going to change. You're hoping that it isn't true, but it is true. I think that there is self-deception here, and you really need to wake up. You need to wake up and smell the coffee. It's better off for you to go on your own, okay? It's better off for you to do your own thing and stop allowing this person to lie to you, to cheat to you. I feel like you've got somebody here that is really causing you got a troublemaker in there and it's like they're turning people against you with their words and you know it and i do feel like you know it um i think that you need to you need to drop this person or people these these people or this person or this situation like a hot potato there's no growth in it it's not solid it's not stable there's no it doesn't lead you down the path to prosperity and abundance, but you have an opportunity to create your own thing. You really, 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 really do. I feel like you are going to become aware of some sort of deception in the very near future, and it may make you very, very, very emotional. Um, this is either from a friend or a family member that's or somebody that you work with, okay? Um, this is an unplanned loss that is really going to 
change your outlook on probably your value and your worth because of that increase in money, which is money is value and worth. You're, you're, you're going to, you are, something is going to happen that is going to make you realize your value and your worth. But I think it's going to be tough. Okay, because of that five of wands. That is a fight. It is a battle. It is a competition. It is tension. Um, and there's deception and lies. So you're going to become aware. You have not been aware of it as of yet. Or maybe you have and you've ignored it. I think you haven't. I think you've been aware, but you haven't wanted to believe it. You haven't wanted to accept it. But I feel like, you, like you've been hoping. You've been hoping that this fight would end. You've been hoping that this person would stop lying to you. You know, but that's not the case. Here we go. Knight of Pentacles. Now the, now the Knight of Pentacles is, ver is a test. This is a quiet test. I feel like your faith is going to be tested. I feel like your 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 strength and your capability and your securities, your you know, your in inner securities are going to be tested. I feel as though you are going to be laying a new foundation on your own. I do. I think that you are going to be turning your back and letting go of something that is no longer going leading you down the right path. I think that you're going to be letting go of something that you were holding on to. And this is either a job or a friendship or a partnership where there's been a lot of tension, there's been a lot of drama, and there's been a lot of bickering. I think you need to be practical. I think and it's interesting because in this King of Knight of Pentacles, this guy actually has a sword and the sword is pouring down. I think you are going to stop communicating with somebody because it, because you realize that this is a reality. I mean, this is a reality. This You realize the truth. I feel like you are going to sever some sort of ties or the universe is going to sever some ties. I think you are slowly going to start moving in a new direction. I feel like uh, you have a lot of hard work ahead. I feel like some of you are going to be investing in a new business, like starting your own business, using your skills to create a business, a new business venture here that will be successful. But it, because the Knight of Pentacles is hard, a hard worker who doesn't give up, that plans and uh, knows that it takes time to be successful. But behind this Knight of Pentacles is the Ace of Pentacles reverse. So that's letting something go that you are not meant to have. So I do believe that you are going to be letting something go because you have a bigger, much, much, much bigger opportunity right here. Okay, you do. I feel like some of you are very, very skilled at something. You're very, very skilled and you haven't been using your skills or whoever you've been dealing with hasn't allowed you to use your skills. I do think that uh, you have some sort of skill that can pay you, that can pay off. I think there's going to be a change in status here with the Knight of Pentacles. I think that by you letting go of something that is not something that you can hold on to, it's either being taken away or you're throwing it away or you're giving it away. Whatever this is, this is something that is going away. Something is, something is going away. And I think that you, it's going to, it's going to be relief, honestly. In the end, you're going to feel relief. You are, because you don't have to deal with it anymore. You're going to be able to breathe a sigh of relief and just build up your own stability. So yeah, I feel like you're going to be going your own way. I think that you're going to be rebuilding or you're, yeah, I do think rebuilding because I mentioned the tower a couple times. I think you're going to be rebuilding a foundation perhaps by yourself or with a, a new people. I do think there is an emergent situation which really puts you, uh, in a state of awakening. I think that you have been unaware of deception and I think it's going to become revealed. 
uh, very, very, very soon. There is some sort of drama that is about to unfold that is going to cause some sort of loss in your life because that Ace of Pentacles reverse is a loss. But this loss actually leads to a gain because now you're going to become successful, okay? This is the gain and this is success, okay? We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. You have been in an unsuccessful situation and this is an emergency. It is time for you to stop having to deal with the drama, to have to stop dealing with the fighting, to have to stop dealing with the competition, and to do your own thing, and to rebuild a foundation that is stable and solid and secure and long-lasting. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of hard work, but it's going to be a lot more uh, easy because there's no tension with the you're le leaving behind the tension you're leaving behind the games you're leaving behind the the drama anyhow the bottom of the deck is the strength card which is the the strength to let go you this you're going to need to master your emotions during this time self control is going to be needed I feel like uh, there is a change in position here, and I feel like you are you are removing yourself from some sort of dramatic situation. Whether you're being removed, you could be taken out of a position, okay, or you're choosing to remove yourself from a situation. Whatever this is, there's a lot of drama here that it has unfolded or it is about to unfold that really wakes you up and I think that you have and it feels like you know that this has been coming or you know what's been going on and you and you have ignored it you've refusing you've refused to accept it now this is a reality check good luck